Hello and welcome to this video on multiplying whole numbers where we'll look at everything up to a three digit number multiplied by a three digit number. Now let's take a simple example. Let's just say we had 21 times four. Now to do this, we just arrange the digits into columns based on their place value, just like we did with column addition. So if we had the 21 and we're multiplying it by, well, this is the units digit and this is the tens digit. So when we're multiplying by four, that's four units, so the four would go here. So we've got 21 times four, we're right aligning the numbers. And then what we do is we focus on each of the digits in the second number one at a time. So we're gonna focus on this four. And then what we do is we do each of the digits above multiplied by that four. So we do the one times the four gives you four. And then we do the two times the four, which is eight because if we have two tens and we multiply that by four, we would have eight tens. That's why it stays in the same column. Where it becomes slightly harder is where we have a carry. So let's just say that we had 72 times by six. We arrange it into columns in the same way. So 72 multiplied by six. And then we do each of these digits in the first number multiplied by this digit here. So we do two times six, which is 12. Now, this is the unit column. So when we have 12, that's two units, but we've got that extra 10, haven't we? So we've got this carry. And what we do with that one is I tend to put it under the next digit here. And that says we've got an additional one here. So we then do seven times six, and seven times six is 42, but we've got that additional one. So that becomes 43. Let's do another example like that. Let's just say that we had 35 multiplied by nine. We've got 35 times nine in columns like that. We first do five times nine, which is 45. So we got five units, but we carry the four because we had four tens. 45, we have four tens. And then we do three times nine, which is 27, but we've got that extra four. 27 plus four is 31. So we put 31 here and we end up with 315. What about the next question here? We've got question two. We've got 54 multiplied by 63. Now, as I said before, we focus on each digit in turn in the second number, moving from right to left. So let's focus on the three first. So let's do the four times the three, which is 12. We put two, carry the one. And then we do the five times the three, which is 15, but we add the extra one, so that's 16. Now here's where it gets a tiny bit more complicated. When we're gonna multiply by the six here, notice that six there is six tens. So we're not multiplying 54 by six, we're actually multiplying 54 by 60. And because 60 ends with a zero, we could put a zero by here. And that means we can now do 54 multiplied by six and put it here, because then we do 54 multiplied by 60, it, we have that zero on the end. So let's do 54 multiplied by six. We got four times the six, starting from the right. Four times six is 24. So we put the four there, carry the two. And then we do the five times the six. That's 30, but plus the additional two is 32. So this number here is three lots of 54. And this number here is 60 lots of 54. But we want 63 lots of 54. So we're gonna have to add the three lots and the 60 lots together. So we then add these two numbers. So I'll put another line here. So two plus zero is two. Six plus four is 10, so we put a zero there, carry the one. One plus two is three, but plus the additional one is four. And by the way, that is not a carry anymore. Those carries there were used for the multiplication bit. They're not being used for the addition bit. And then finally, we've just got three, so we've got three there. What about the third one? We've got four, seven, six multiplied by 89. So if I write that in columns, multiplied by 89, making sure you line it up correctly. So we're gonna focus on this nine first. We do six multiplied by nine, which is 54, put the four, carry the five. We do seven times nine is 63, but plus that five is 68. And then we do four times nine, is 36 plus a six is 42. And now for the next column, because we're multiplying by 80, not by eight, we're gonna have to put a zero on the end. And now we do six times by the eight, which is 48. We do seven times the eight, which is 56, 
plus the 4 is 60. So we have 0 units and we carry the 6. And then we've got 4 times 8, that's 32, plus the 6 is 38. And then again, we're going to add these numbers together, ignoring any carries from the previous step. So we've got 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 8 is 16, so we've got 6, carry the 1. 2 plus 0 is 2, plus the extra carried 1 is 3. 4 plus 8 is 12, so put the 2, carry the 1. And then 3 plus the extra carried 1 is 4. So we get 42,364. Now the next one, we've got 26 times 306. Now I tend to put the number with more digits first. I tend to find that's a bit easier. So I'm actually going to do 306 times 26, and that is allowed. So 306 multiplied by 26. So we focus on this digit first. 6 times 6 is 36. Put the 6, carry the 3. 0 times 6 is just 0, but we carry the 3, so we have 3. And then 3 times 6 is 18, so put 8, and there's, no le and there's no place left to put the carry, so it's just the 1 there. And then the next row, we're times 306 by 20, so we put a 0 there. So we're now doing 6 times 2 is 12, put the 2, carry the 1. 0 times 2 is 0, but we carry the 1, so we have 1. And 3 times 2 is 6. And then add these numbers, 6 plus 0 is 6, 3 plus 2 is 5. 8 plus 1 is 9, 1 plus 6 is 7, so we're nice and quick at the end. That's 7,950. Now this is where it gets hard because we have 3 digit times 3 digit. So we're going to do 521 multiplied by 677. We do exactly the same as we did before. We focus on this digit first. 1 times 7 is 7. 2 times 7 is 14, so put 4, carry the 1. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 1 is 36. Now, we're timesing by this digit here. So we're timesing 5 to 1 by 70. So we put a 0 there, and then we just multiply this by 7. So we've got 1 times 7 is 7. 2 times 7 is 14. Put the 4, carry the 1. 5 times 7 is 35, plus the 1 is 36. Oh, and you can see, obviously, that's the same as that, because we multiplied by 7 again. Now, we're timing this by 6, but it's actually 600. We're timesing 5, 2, 1 by 600. So we could multiply this by 6, but then we need two zeros on the end, don't we? Because we're actually timesing by 600. So we then do the same thing. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12, put the 2 carry the 1. And 5 times 6 is 30, plus the carried 1 is 31. We add these numbers as before. 7 plus 0 plus 0 is 7. 4 plus 7 plus 0 is 11. 6 plus 4 plus is 16, plus the carried 1 is 17, put the 7 carried the 1. 3 plus 6 plus 2 is 11, plus the extra 1 is 12. 3 plus 1 plus the extra 1 is 5. And then 3 plus nothing is just 3. So we've got 352,717 as the answer.